So today we're talking about a mouse. A mouse? A mouse. Nani? This boy right here, the Logitech MX Master 3, is probably the most productive mouse that I've ever used. It has a lot of functionality to it. You can use it on any surface, basically. Any surface, and it's gonna be working just fine. So we're gonna talk about this in the video today. Logitech MX Master 3. A mouse. All right, all right, all right. That was bad. That was corny. But what up, you guys? To me from Team Tech here, back again another video for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I talk about everything tech. So if you like content like this and you clicked on this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you like what you see throughout this video, hit that bell icon, get notified for my next video, and of course, subscribe, duh. It helps my channel grow, helps me get more content out to you that will help you with your next purchase, or just inform me about the new tech that's out there. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the Logitech MX Master 3. Yes, this guy, this little mouse right here is a very phenomenal now mouse and i've been using it for about a week and a half now and i gotta say i'm pretty pleased with it the design as you can see looks very ergonomic it's nice it's got a nice little uh little mold to it so that way your hand kind of blends in with it and if you got big hands this mouse is not too small so it'll be just fine i think it's about just medium size for me at least i have decently sized hands for my little height of five foot five yes i'm that short but this design it took some getting used to because i was coming from a very small logitech uh pebble mouse so when i put my hands on this it was a little weird i had to get used to the shape so if you see the way the hand is positioned on here i'll have some b rolls so we probably better see how my hand is positioned on here but the mouse, the way it's molded, I like it. The way your thumb kind of just rests in this little uh, crevice right here. It's nice. It's got a nice little gesture button in there. It took some getting used to for me to actually use it on my MacBook Pro. And you can use this on Windows as well. It's a very nice mouse that can work on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. So it's very uh, flexible. It can work with multiple operating systems. And I'll get into that in a little bit and how you can use the flow that's included in the software to actually copy and paste files in between different OSs, which is really cool. It has a little lag to it, but it's still really cool. So um, now that we're done talking about design, let's talk about the overall uh, nature of the mouse, the scrolling, the clicking. We'll get into all that right now. One thing that we do obviously a lot on our computers is scroll. The scrolling mechanism on here is really, really nice quiet see how quiet that is yeah it's kind of quiet it's nice it has this magnetic wheel that's supposed to scroll uh, a thousand lines a second now I haven't noticed it stopping exactly on lines or anything like that but scrolling on the scrolling experience on here has been pretty nice and I know scrolling is like pretty much the same on every mouse but this has a special feel to it I like the way it feels you have to like really have your hands on it to really know what I'm talking about but the mouse wheel has a nice little click to it nice and quiet when you're using it it's got a thousand lines and scrolling it's got 90% faster wheel compared to the older models 87% more precise it's ultra quiet which I think is correct the best way to describe it it is ultra quiet it works comfortable in the hand It's crafted for the palm it just it's a great mouse overall and design wise the clickiness of the right click the right click and the left click is very it's not too loud it's nice and kind of quiet then you have the button in the middle to uh, change between ratchet mode and ratchet ratchet mode and uh, infinite scroll which is nice and you have the forward and back buttons next to the horizontal wheel which you can customize. The one thing that's great about this mouse is you can customize every single button on here. You can customize how you want the scrolling wheels to do. You can customize the horizontal wheel. You can customize the forward and back button and the gesture button. And I'll get into that in a little bit, but one thing about this mouse is that it's very, very flexible and you can make it do what you want it to do. 
in different applications and just overall universal use, which is really, really cool. Once you install the Logi Options software onto your computer, you can uh, customize the buttons and how you want them, how you want them to function, and what you want them to do in certain apps or just universally in general. Now the software for this with the MX Master 3, it does have pre-programmed buttons that are already set in stone for certain apps such as Microsoft Word or your Office Suite in general, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, Chrome, Edge, uh, Safari obviously. Um, the horizontal button will switch between tabs, the forward and back button obviously go forward and back between pages that you've viewed. And the, with Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro, horizontal scrolling is enabled, redo, undo, zoom for Microsoft Office, horizontal for Excel, etc., etc. You can program the button how you want it to function. You can even go as far as having the buttons function as shortcut keys. So like Command Z or Control Z, which is redo and undo. But that's just an example of a shortcut key that you can program to the mouse button, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So I'll have a, a screen up here to show you the, what the functions are for the different apps that's already pre-programmed that you can change in the Logi Options application. That's cool about this mouse in the software with Logitech is Flow. What Flow is, is basically the Logitech mouse has the buttons at the bottom. As you can see here, there's one, two, three, and there's an on and off switch there, and there's the laser for the mouse scrolling and uh, using the pointer. So one, two, three there is basically this device can connect to three different devices at once. And once you connect it to number one, that's your first device, two is your second, three, etc. So once you click the button for the second device, it will connect to that second device and then you will no longer be able to use it on the first device. Now with Flow, you can uh, enable, you have to make sure the Wi-Fi or your device are connected on the same Wi-Fi. And once you enable Logi Flow, Logi Flow, Logitech Flow uh, through the application, all all the apps have to be having Logi Flow enabled. I'm keep calling it Logi Flow. It's Logi Flow now. The Flow option enabled, and then you can uh, scroll from the Mac OS to Windows OS, for example, and copy and paste a file, which is pretty cool. I used it, um, it kind of makes the mouse a little laggy, not gonna lie. The mouse is very smooth, but when you have flow enabled, going in between desktops, uh, it kind of has a little hiccups here and there. It's not 100% smooth, but it works. When it works, it's pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Uh, you can do this with the MX keys as well. I'll do a video on the MX keys here in a little bit. Maybe in the next coming week, I'll do a video on the MX keys that I have. And I'm starting to really like Logitech. I mean, I've always liked Logitech, but I never really knew Logitech was like this good. I can see why Apple partners with them. But anyway, that's for another video. But the flow is pretty cool. Um, if you want to just go back and forth with OSs instead of emailing pictures to yourself or when you can't airdrop to Windows and etc., you can just flow. <laughs> pretty much what it what it get what it is it's a good name for it. you just flow between the two different uh, OS's which is pretty cool and this also works for the iPad and I think you can no you can't flow with the iPad because obviously you need Logi options and Logi options obviously is not compatible with iPad OS so unfortunately you can't flow between iPad OS Windows OS Mac OS but you can flow between Windows Mac and Linux basically which is still pretty cool so my third take on this, by the way. Um, Logitech Flow Options is just not flowing. Uh, I think it's because it's an Intel-based app and it's not universal that it's kind of laggy and buggy. So obviously I can move the mouse to my Windows desktop, but when I'm trying to move it back to my Mac, it doesn't work. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, in the end, I think it's because it's not a universal app. So if you have an Intel-based Mac still, or just Windows to Windows, Intel-based Mac to Mac, Linux OS, et cetera, it should flow just fine. You can flow again with flow disabled and just clicking the button, switching between devices on the mouse, but you won't be able to copy and paste. That's the only problem. You won't be able to copy and paste in between the different OSs without flow enabled. So it's very unfortunate. It's kind of buggy on the M1, but I made it work before, but now today it's just not working. So unfortunate but it's there if you need it and if you don't have an M1 Mac it should be just fine so for those of you who want to know some more specs about this this 
laser or sensor should I say has a 4000 DPI so this can be used on any surface including glass I have not tested glass because I don't have glass surface on my room or on my desk but I mean I guess I could put it on my phone <laughs> to test it out put it over that little glass surface to test it out but uh, this mouse can work anywhere which is really cool I don't know if it can work on the mattress or whatnot let me see can it work on a blanket yeah I got it on my blanket and it's still working so it works on a blanket it works on anything it's pretty cool uh, it's five times more precise than their last model which is pretty cool um, yeah so the pretty much you don't have to worry about any surface that you're on with this mouse whatever surface you're on you're still gonna get guaranteed smooth usage out of your mouse life this hasn't died on me yet and it's advertised to have 70 days on a full charge and with three hours of usage off a one minute charge and it uses USB-C. So if you have USB-C, if you have like Android phones or a MacBook or an iPad or anything else that uses USB-C basically, you already have a cable for it, you already have a charger for it, so you should be good and it charges nice and fast. I mean, three hours out of 10 minutes charge, can't get any better than that. And this is yet to die on me. So battery life on here in the mouse is a plus so overall this is a short video because we're talking about a mouse and it's multiple functionality purposes and it's multiple OS functionality which is all pretty cool I need to add in there that also for zoom calls you can use the forward and back button to stop video and mute audio which is also very nice because I know on zoom calls if I'm like in for school if I'm multitasking taking notes and then I gotta hop back and forth into mute and audio I can just use my mouse click on zoom hit the button unmute easy as simple as that I just scroll all the way down to the microphone to hit unmute or look try to remember what the shortcut keys are to unmute I just hit the forward or back button however you want to customize it it's already customized for you but if you want to switch it up that's on you so overall this mouse is very nice it's ergonomic it's got a nice sleek black finish to it it looks very clean it's serves its purpose and it's a really good mouse for just a hundred bucks i know 99 dollars is very expensive for a mouse you can get any logitech pebble for like 30 bucks and you can still lose the logi options use the logi options to customize it so pretty much for any logitech device that you have with when it comes to the mouse as long as you have logi options you can customize that mouse for different purposes but with those other mouses obviously you'll have less buttons you won't have a horizontal wheel you won't have a forward and back button you won't have a gesture button but you can make ends meet with the mouse because some of those scroll wheels on those mouses you can actually hit the right side or left side and customize it how you want i just clicked and something happened in the background so that's cool it's my kitty <laughs> it's tiger he's adorable but anyway overall i do recommend this mouse if you have the money for it 100 bucks isn't that bad for its purpose if you're a content creator or a student or you just value productivity on your os's and you have multiple os's you want to go in between so MX Master 3, thumbs up. Probably the best mouse I ever used, not gonna lie. I mean, I've used a couple of mouses, gaming mouses and other stuff. So get this if you can. It's to meme tech, if you like this video, hit that like button once again, subscribe, hit that bell icon. And if you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button twice. You know what I mean. All right, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching, peace.